Hey, sugar tits! <laughs> hey, wait up, sweetheart, you got a sweet ass! Welcome back to the Words of Heart Show, guys. Uh, the show where we talk about random topics that we have in the randomizer. Don't forget, don't forget to leave your don't comments down below, uh, so, so that we can put it in the randomizer and talk about Why them. Or now, it's a case <laughs> rather than talk about it, yeah. he'll mess up words. And what do you do for a living? I uh, talk. Talk about. <laughs> it's ironic that we that we decided to do a talk show type thing uh, with three of the people who are the least. Articulate, or at least with it hey, me. That's speak a, for yourself. That's, that's a five dollar word right there. Articulate, good articulate. stuff. Well, what is in the randomizer here today? I bet you can't even spell articulate. Unfortunately, Mike doesn't remove things from the random the randomizer, so you we have to keep need hitting to it. Tell people that I certainly did. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Well, don't stare at him while he's doing it. He's got <laughs> performance anxiety. Man, I can't do it with you watching. <laughs> This is so bad. Fuck, we've talked about a lot of shit. We talk a lot of shit, too. We talk a lot of shit. Do, do. So this uh, this topic was requested by um, by Silly Drizzy. Who would have thought? Um, he wanted to, uh, us to talk about the most fun that you've ever had at a work function. <sighs> Nothing fun about Let's work. talk about work functions in the first place. So... What kind of work functions are we talking about? Like, okay. like in this so, case, I'm so assuming like, go ahead. There's a few different kinds of work, a few different kinds of works functions. My favorite function is putting money in my wallet. <laughs> That's the most appropriate work function, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you? So I'm assuming like like I don't know. There's like a family day that the that my company has every or so Christmas often, Christmas party, I think. or the yeah. Christmas party, or you know stuff like that. Uh, I've never been to the uh, to the you know family picnic type thing. Um, I, I it's not that I hate kids; I just hate other people's kids. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's does that make accurate. sense? Well, when did you like, have kids? I don't have kids of my own. It's <laughs> it's that like I hate like like I I, I like kids that are in my family, You're right. or 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 with my close friends. But like as soon as like it, it uh, a work acquaintance brings a kid, you're just kind of like ah. Oh. I don't know. Kids don't really bother me as long as I know that they go home with someone else. <laughs> if and you're if you're picking up at a kid's work function, there's something wrong. What? Yeah, that's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, so for for one of the company picnic things, I got asked to do a uh, magic routine, and I'm thinking to myself, my magic routine consists of pick up magic, uh, swallowing needles. Yeah, and a Russian roulette routine, as well as a bunch of other. So like you're cut, you're covered in blood, and you're like, all right, little girl, write your phone number on this card. <laughs> Basically, at that She's point, she's like, right? what's so, the phone number? <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, it's uh, like two. <laughs> this many, yeah, this many. <laughs> Please leave. So I, yeah, so yeah, I guess one of the managers asked me. I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, so. I mean, I would I would have loved to go to to it and you know just kind of chill, but at that point I'm like, no. <laughs> You're also probably scared of running into some of your illegitimate children that you have out there, aren't you? Oh God. yeah, there's just like <laughs> you show up and there's just a bunch daddy, of kids that daddy, look daddy. that look like you. I don't have any children um, that I own up to. I think probably the most fun I've had at a work function was the first Christmas party at the company that I'm currently with. Um, you got really drunk. Oh yeah, well, oh, so so we had like a. F- three or four thousand dollar budget for the party and we held it in the basement of the building that we work in so there was no expense other than alcohol <laughs> and we spent the budget <laughs> we we had the keg full and on tap and then we had a keg set aside um <coughs> just saying alex is dying um, just keep going <coughs> <laughs> I'm I'm working I'm working nights right now, and I showed up at the office today for the first time in like two months, and uh, there's now three beer taps in there. They added like, more. They 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 ramped up when I started working from home. Wow, <laughs> that's not fair. They're like, okay, they're uh, like, okay. So while Mike's gone, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna Mike's not here, here anymore. So, so. Uh, all I so so what I remember from that like our CEO came down and and we started playing uh, we started playing beer pong a little bit and then flip cup. And all I remember is uh, 
halfway through the night, all of a sudden the, the table starts moving, and I was like, who is drunkenly moving the table? And I look over, and of course, the CEO of the company's moving the table, and he's like, it's got to be closer to the beer keg! It's got to be closer there! <laughs> and he starts filling them up. And I remember uh, my friend's girlfriend, she's... Um, She's gluten intolerant, so she can't drink oh, beer. Yeah, and they're like girls versus guys. You're playing flip cup. There wasn't a lot of girls there, right? And and she's like, I can't. I can't drink beer. I, I physically can't. I have an allergy. And he's like, You're chugging wine. <laughs> it's like they fills um, up the cup. Yeah, right? yeah. I remember. Um, it was just beer and beer and beer and beer, and I was getting bloated, and I was like, I need something that's not that heavy, and I remember my friend Lenny was, was over, and he was pouring drinks for people at our bar, which is essentially the kitchen counter that was just covered in bottles of anything <laughs> you can think of. We had some of the stupid, like, like we had, like, a nice rum and a nice bourbon and scotch and stuff like that, but then all of a sudden we, we've got, like, fucking vermouth and, and like, <laughs> Campari and shit like this. And they're going, I want to make Negronis, and I'm like... Okay. I, I remember, I remember, because Lenny is, is, uh, is, I don't remember if he's, if he's just half black or if he's black, but I remember, I remember being drunk and him saying, do you want me to make you a Negroni? And I went... What did you call me? And he goes, "You can't say that to me." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> I remember. But anyway, I asked for some wine and he's like, "I got you some good wine." And then he hands me a solo cup and the fucking thing's full. And I was like, <laughs> "What? There's lines and on this cup like, for a reason." I've I've been at this company for I started November 2nd. This is the Christmas party. This is early December. So a month later. Yeah, and I'm si- I remember sitting on the futon and I was really drunk. And you guys have met Scott. He was he was um, the person who hired me. He was my boss at the time. And I remember sitting there and I was passing out. I was literally like fighting to stay awake and I had a cup of water because I knew I was really drunk and I needed to sober up and hydrate. And I was trying to be responsible. And she came and his wife came over and she's just like, "Oh hi, I'm Tina. Nice to meet you." And she sits down next to me and and I remember in my drunk mind going, "All right." You have to be. You have to make a good impression, and then I'm like, "All right, so look at the wall and nod in three, two, yep, you're doing good." Like I remember <laughs> instructing myself on how to like try to function instead of paying attention. Um, you you mentioned what I I don't know if it was that night, but didn't you say that a bunch of your work friends after drinking ended up going to the diplomat so to one of the di- so the, one me of the and restaurants my current time. boss who yeah. i was who i was hired with he was just my fellow colleague at the time um and then my boss at the time scott and his wife that i had just met there yeah. we all decided that we were going to go to the diplomat and they were like we're calling a cab and i was just like fuck it it's around the corner we'll walk so we start walking and at this point she's she was really upset she was like 50 feet ahead of us and we're walking we're all wasted and all i remember is scott going Hey, sugar tits! <laughs> hey, wait up, sweetheart! You got a sweet ass, and he was like, and he was like, and he, he called her me, sweet ass. Get back here, sweet yeah, ass! Yeah, and she was, she was just. You told this story when we were walking around downtown, and I cried, yeah. and I took a knee, and there's like these drunk chicks. They're like, "Oh my god, what's he doing?" <laughs> It's the greatest. High. But yeah, no. It, so I remember her. She was like, "I'm getting angry." Yeah, it was pretty sweet. That was probably wow. one of the best work functions because it just devolved into a frat party. <laughs> Effectively. For the very first uh, Christmas party for me, for my, my current place of employment, uh, the very first Christmas party I went to, we walked in like an hour late after the dinner happened, and there's this one guy that I absolutely cannot stand who's on the dance floor, and he's just standing there alone. And I walk in, he looks at me, he's like, dance with me! So I grab his I, I I grab his hand and I put my arm around his waist. But you don't like him. I hate him with a passion. So I'm like like dancing with him. Do you awkwardly. treat all your enemies like that? Yeah. Well, I I was trying to make him look awkward, but he made me look awkward, and I'm like, well, this is just you made yourself look weird. awkward. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> stepped into that one. So you threw yourself on that. Grenade. You three stepped into that one. <laughs> so of course, because drunk Alex loves doing magic, I uh, I also had like three or four decks of cards on me. And Did you make the salami disappear? I no. <laughs> oh, that night, no, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. That's like such an old person thing to it say, is. isn't it? Yeah. Like, fuck your old. Yes, we've determined I'm old. So you don't have to keep so, bringing it up. There wasn't really all that much that happened at that party, but Come this on. this last party, um, Greg was there. Um, yeah, we were we were in we were in his hotel room, 
and we're drinking, and he had Crystal Skull Vodka, which I drank a fair amount of, and I gave it back to did, him. And did you play Hide the Salami? Uh, you never had any of this Crystal, call, this crystal Skull Vodka, so because I, forgot I only had the little skulls, so I forgot and I drank to, it all myself. So I forgot to tell Greg that I took some of his vodka. <laughs> so all the drinks downstairs were like super expensive. It was like $12 for like a double of whiskey. So I'm like, well, what the fuck is this shit? So Greg's like, okay, we're going to the we're going to the liquor store. So we end up going to the liquor store. I get a, a quart of, of whiskey and we come back. And I start drinking this shit straight. Um, about half the bottle in, I'm drunk. And I'm fighting with the ice machine because it's giving me cubed ice instead of crushed ice. And my, uh, my girlfriend's uh, friend saw me. She wasn't your girlfriend at the time. She though. wasn't my girlfriend at the time, yeah. no. Uh, but her her friend saw me talking to the uh, to the ice machine and thinking, Jesus Christ, this guy needs to get he his shit together. He would be perfect for my friend. Yeah, <laughs> we need to hook him up with her. And so I just keep drinking and drinking, and I go downstairs, and I end up seeing uh, this one guy who works in the other office, uh, Dylan. And he's like, how you doing? And I give him, I, I shake his hand, I give him a hug. And my now girlfriend is like watching me. And I apparently shook her hand and said, ah, yeah, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I don't remember shit. <laughs> so uh, I, now have to, I now get to tell people that she met me at the Christmas party. I didn't meet anyone because uh, I was way too far gone. I also had a new magic trick that I was working on that I hadn't done to anyone yet. And I stopped this guy and his date uh, on the way out of the building, like while they were trying to walk out of the building. And I'm like, okay, she's good looking. I'm going to try to do magic on her. And so I tried... Th- to do this pick the, this trick oh i magicked all over you i magicked all over you no what i ended up saying is wait is he saying he tried to pick up some other guy's chick with magic that's exactly what happened yes so here's the thing it's a piece of shit no, when he's drunk yeah. greg, well, he's greg a piece of shit when this he's sober, gets better so <laughs> so what ended up happening is that uh what i meant to what i meant to say to her was sign this card i'm gonna put down my number instead what came out of drunk alex's mouth was sign this card with your number so she did. And apparently I put my hand around her and my hand was a little lower than what I thought and I had been grabbing her ass. Uh, I took her out for an apology uh, for apology yeah, movie. Saying. Boston yeah. Pizza. Bo- uh, no, no. No, that was that the was, movie. Was the Boston oh, Pizza was the girlfriend. So, oh, he only saves Boston Pizza for the ones so he wants I, to sleep with then. I did end up getting her number. For the single one. So I did end up getting her number and I guess that was that. So I go upstairs. Well, she couldn't have been in too happy of a relationship if she willingly gave him her phone number. She wasn't actually in a relationship. No, she was just there as a date. So I go upstairs. I drink more whiskey, and then our friend Jeff is like, "Alex, you've you've had a lot. I'm gonna drive you home." I'm like, "That's probably a good idea." So I get home, and Mike is on Skype, and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Yeah. Which oh I, <laughs> yeah, this is the video you have of where he needs to go get himself it's, a bucket. It's a shit video because my recording, this recording software fucked up. Yeah. But Alex, <laughs> I called him on Skype and he turns on Skype video and he's sitting there in his boxers. <laughs> and he's just like sitting there. I can hear him blacking out in front of me. He's like, I'm going to go get a bucket. Yeah. And he leaves and he comes back with a bucket and he spits in it and he goes, look how new this bucket is. <laughs> and he's like showing me his new, he's like, there's stickers in it and everything. He's like, and spit. <laughs> I, I'll put that video at the end of this as a bonus clip. Don't. I might do no, it. No, do it. So, do it. at the start of the night though, for the, for the, this last Christmas party, we're in your hotel room and I'm drinking, you know, some, some whiskey I think that I brought with me. And then there's these these two lesbians that walk in that of who, one of which I haven't seen in a while and I guess the other was his, uh, her girlfriend and so I go to shake her hand but instead I just she's like ah okay let's just give each other a hug so I give one and I hug but I fall backwards onto the bed her dress is made of pure sparkles and uh, she gets back up and I'm like I'm covered in glitter I had glitter all over my crotch and then they made a joke saying oh well, you've got grotch now I'm like oh can I get more? And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, can, can I dry hump you to get more sp- <laughs> more glitter off of you? And she, sa- <laughs> she looks to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend says, you're lucky he's cute. And so I go and I dry hump this lesbian in in the in the in your ho- in your hotel room. Yeah, with a bunch of people around. You me. might as well have been dry humping a grenade. That's how dangerous that was. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk Alex didn't give no fucks. I get very inappropriate at, at work po- at work functions. Is what I'm saying. Uh, so it's probably a good thing I didn't go to the uh, the family picnic. 
<laughs> you'd have been dry humping the kids. No. <laughs> oh. No, I'd be dry humping the single mothers. Do you mind if I dry hump your mom? <laughs> yeah. To get glitter on my crotch. Yeah. And she's like, I'm scared. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Work. That. That was the. That was really the last thing I remember. I met my my current girlfriend at the no sorry my current girlfriend met me at the Christmas party because you don't remember me but I don't remember shit okay because I'm a jackass that was the main the main point of that story I guess. you don't enjoy work functions do you I hate work people I hate work although I did enjoy that work function but and that technically wasn't my yeah work, yeah I you don't, don't work there you didn't anymore. work there at the time so that was a good time no but I usually have a good time at that Christmas party for so, that company so the company. The company that you work at now, where I used to be, um, when we first started there, there was only a small group of us. And I remember Dennis. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so he, is, this, is this old Dennis? This yes. This is old Dennis. Old yeah. Dennis is awesome. Love that guy. Um, he, uh, We weren't going to have a Christmas party in our city because we'd, we we'd have to go to the other city to do it. So he said, you know what? Let's all pitch in. And we rented out a, a, a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> and we show up and they gave us a tour of the whole brewery I was like this is really cool and then we end in this room and I was like oh do we get to do a tasting and he goes "All these ke- each one of these kegs is full of a different beer and there's like seven or eight of us and they're like go <laughs> <laughs> and I was like no fucking way <laughs> anyway that was a bit of a mess we're just in like this empty beer hall like it, it's not really a beer hall. It's like the break room for the people who brew beer. And there's like this this party going on where they have tables set up in the actual rooms where they brew where these people are sitting there doing a tasting and they're eating this food. And we're getting trashed next door on all you can drink fucking kegs. That's amazing. I think that was the, the first and only time they had any type of work function like that. And, and that was before I started working. And they there. came to us and told us that they're like they're like we have no liability this isn't a work function blah 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 they they wouldn't let us like invite people via email oh. we had to do it by voice that's hence why there was eight of us and like 12 kegs <laughs> so it's like <laughs> these numbers don't add up one keg per person <laughs> just like, like at the point you kind of want to just stick your mouth under the tap and just go bang, 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 bang. why do i get the feeling you've done that before i've done it with a uh with a they're cold and they're slushy. You'd just get all head if you did it with a beer tap. A slushy machine? <laughs> yes, I've done it with a slushy machine. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> apt description of a slushy machine. That, it's that cold out of and con- slushy. I that, think that out of context. Yeah, I did it with a slushy machine. Um, <laughs> I I actually remember when somebody online said that they uh, that there was something had happened. They They lost their job and then they went to an appointment and found out that they had cancer. And somebody had commented and said that you now have like full permission to just walk into the nearest Seven Eleven, stick your head under the slurpee machine, <laughs> and turn it on, tell everybody to fuck off. <laughs> that would be the way to do it. Yeah, they're like, if you tell your story to the person behind the counter, I'm sure they'd let you do it. <laughs> Say, well, fuck, I guess I have to clean this up later, but yeah, give her. Yeah, <laughs> you've earned, you've it. earned it <laughs> through your suffering. No, I don't know. Uh, there's there's been some really shitty work functions. I know my wife's work function is. is not very fun. Well, you show up and and it's just basically just them preaching about the numbers that were and weren't met for the year. You don't do and that then, at a party. Yeah, yeah. And then they and then it's kind of a buzzkill. Nobody goes point. to a work party to talk about work. And then the last time I guess there was a really religious guy who um, who doesn't like that he he has to work for a lot of women, and, oh. and he and he stood up to do this bit where he was pretending to be a drill sergeant and he was talking shit about all the women that he has to work for and oh, to, to having to work under lesbians and women and stuff and they just Ooh. let him do this and it's like wow that sounds like a fun fucking work time to me yeah. you just show up and get shit on for who you are and wow. here the thanks numbers. for working here yeah here's now the numbers you do didn't more meet. work here's the numbers you did meet um the, here's 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 head management singing a shitty carol go eat some dried food and then sit back down. <laughs> no drinks allowed, because we'd be liable. Sure. So this is what happens at a dry Christmas party. And then, of course, she shows up at my Christmas party. And they're like, at the end of this thing, they're like, all right, there's too much booze. Take it. Start taking stuff <laughs> and leave. We have too much alcohol. You you were, you were, guys were having, this is where you're currently at. You, 
you, you guys were drinking in the in the basement again for for some reason. We had a launch party. We launched a you new do product. That a new product. Great and you're like basement. you're like Alex, come over here. <laughs> you call me. I'm like yeah. Oh Jesus! So, yeah, and, and you showed up at the tail end of the party. Yeah, almost everybody had left. There was probably what six of us left, and Roughly. you showed up. And and I remember my now boss um, was just like, "What are you drinking? What do you want? Do you like this?" Do you like this? I think he poured you some bourbon or something. He poured me some 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 really crappy bourbon that you mentioned that that was there for like a while afterwards. Yeah, that stuff had been sitting in there since the Christmas party. Oh, um, there you go. Nobody wanted the bourbon, so we just bought it and it was sitting there. So you fed it to Alex. Um, we we had this really really nice scotch. I remember. At, I don't. <laughs> I remember ended up drinking. Was, I ended up drinking that. Yeah. I don't remember if it was the launch of the Christmas party, but I remember people got hired over that scotch. I remember walking upstairs to steal a Rice Krispie. Out of one of the drawers, and I sh- and I walk into like this circle of people, and I end up with a scotch in my hand, and then I cheers. I'm like, "What are we cheersing?" And we're like, "Oh, we hired him." I was like, "Welcome!" <laughs> and we, we were, like nobody was in the state of mind to sign anything. <laughs> no, no, not at that point. Well, we did it. Yeah, I mean, then you, then one of the, you started trying to sell me to your boss. I'm like, "What the hell's happening at this point?" Like, oh, he wanted to hire you too. Yeah. It's- Kind of and then that was the same night that somebody went into the bathroom and punched a hole in the punched wall. Punched a wall, yeah. And that's the last time that we had a party at the office. Yeah. We, we now do them off-site. But the funny part is, is we went and we rented out a bar for our last Christmas party. And we show up and they're catering like... We had like barbecue pulled duck wraps and really like, yeah and and like all this like amazing like bar food and finger food way more than we could have eaten there was a cheetos crusted jalapeno poppers and shit Jeez. oh god it was good anyway um and matzo sticks and yeah yeah the, there was amazing. this sweet food truck that anyway so we went in and we were told that we had to get drink tickets and there was two each available to us at the bar and then we show up, and they're like, oh, yeah, he's just going to count it on the machine. So just just go up, and then we'll let you guys know when everybody's had two. Well, we all get a drink in our hands, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it's open bar. We're just going to pay the tab at the end of the night. <laughs> and we racked that thing up over four grand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because I remember my friend's um, girlfriend, the one with the gluten allergy, yeah. She was like, I was like, I need something really strong, but I don't know what to go get. And she's just like, all right, go order a double Long Island iced tea. Because it's not the Long Island iced tea mix they use there. It's like two shots of tequila, two shots of vodka, two shots of, 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 of gin. Uh, gin, yeah, yeah. And then, like, it, just all this alcohol. And I'm watching him fill it up. And I was like, all right. And then he gets to the top, and there's this much left. And he goes, and a splash of iced tea. And I was like... <laughs> You're not even trying at that point. Yeah. Anyway, um, her and I had probably about six of those each. <laughs> oh, yeah. We went crazy. It's like a $24 drink. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Long Island iced teas are not cheap. Speaking of Long Island iced teas. Well, we were getting doubles. I tried ordering at the very first um, work Christmas party that I went to. The bar was open and it's absolute just shit. I walk up and I'm like, yeah, can I get a Long Island iced tea? They're like, all right, with what in it? I'm like. A Long Island, a Long Island iced tea. Like, oh, okay. Like, so then he did, gives you Long did, Island iced tea mix and some no, no, iced tea. No, not even. Give me a Coke with rum in it. I'm like, that's that's a QB right? And, but. and you're like, and you're like, this is just rum and coke. And he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this, this one had no clue. And, and you're like, like, okay. And she's like, tip. <laughs> and you're like. Here's a tip. Learn to make a Long Island iced tea. Uh, <laughs> that's the dumbest thing. Buddy of mine did the same thing over at one of the uh, one of the eateries over here. Um, did I just call it an eatery? One of the restaurants down uh, town the, the here. The local eatery. The, one, the local eatery. Uh, went in and asked for a Long Island iced tea. And she's like, okay, I can do that. And just puts like a shot of rum inside iced tea. And like <laughs> that was all. And he's like looking at it and he's like, it's not what I ordered. Yeah. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I mean, yeah. The what I was gonna ask is like, is have you ever had like a weird ordering well, issue? No, at- okay, so I don't know how much drinks cost because I either drink at home and then like I'll go out and I'll maybe have a beer or two. Yeah. Um. So I know that a beer at a bar, depending, can be anywhere from four to nine dollars. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Depending on how crafty you get, which I don't if I'm buying from a bar, um, and, uh, or I'll just go in and say what's what's on sale and i'll just get like a picture of whatever's yeah. on tap for 12 bucks sure um but 
so I don't know the price of alcohol. Yeah. So I went out with you for your birthday, and we went into a bar, and I went up, and I was just like, let's get two double whiskeys. And I was just like, yeah. And then he's just like, I couldn't hear what he said, and he ha- held his hand out, and I was just like, well, here's 20 bucks. And he's like, no, 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 it's like 28. I was like, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> For two drinks, yeah. Like double double whiskey, just straight. Yeah, that's. I'm a cheap drunk. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I mean, actually, there was a point where buddy uh, buddy of mine was downtown, ordered a, a double scotch, like just single malt scotch, and he then ran out to go find this girl that he had been having a fight with, that you know, for about a week or so now. And then I'm like, I'm just holding the scotch. He's like, I'll be right back. And he messages me. He's like, I'm not gonna come back. <laughs> so I'm thinking. Can't let this like thirteen dollar glass of scotch go. Had he to, already go to waste. paid for it? He had already paid for it, oh, right? Well, so yeah. it's just like I'm like, all right. So I'm sipping his scotch, and just watching these randoms, you know, around me. I'm like, well, this is all kind of fucked, yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, we're getting away from work. For Only a little bit, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Uh, don't don't talk to the ice machine. It doesn't answer back, even if it does give you the wrong type of ice. My lesson learned is apparently I need to work for a company where I get drunk at every single event. Yeah, I, lessons learned. Apparently, according to us, it's not a fun party unless we're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, nobody had any sober stories. So. No sober stories. Zero. Thanks for watching.